Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and I am starting a new insert in my Traveller's Notebook today. This is my first insert, which the flip through is already on YouTube. I'll put the links down in the description below if you missed that one last year, I think it was. Uh, there's a chatty version and a longer, oh, sorry, a shorter non-chatty version. Uh, and then the second flip through will be up during the Inky June Marathon, so keep your eyes peeled for my second insert uh, but I've started a new one and my previous two inserts were the 003 uh, by Travelers Company and I know I have one hiding somewhere I purposely bought a spare one but have I unpacked it yet no do I know which of the mystery boxes in my uh, wardrobe it's in N also no so I'm trying a new insert and this one was sent by a beautiful subscriber so I'm not positive of the company uh, but it looks a little bit maybe like Webster's pages I know they do some uh, inserts and the paper's really nice it's uh, it's nice and thick and it didn't bleed through my Tombow brush markers which was very nice because there's one thing I can't stand it's bleed through with pens and even ghosting, which uh, is where you can see it a little bit, it does drive me a bit batty. And I think that's the problem that I've had uh, with starting Traveller's Notebook inserts in the past is that I didn't find an insert that worked for me personally. But this one seems to be doing the trick. Now today is actually a bit of a double process video because I finished this page and I purposefully, I, let me know if you did the same thing, I left the first page intentionally blank and it's not that I meant for it to stay blank forever. I just hate doing the first page of journals. I really can't stand it. I I have had such bad luck with when I start the first page of journals. It usually means that I only get about three pages in and then I, I'm done with that journal for quite a while. And so I was trying a new approach and skipping the first page to to make things a bit easier. Now here I had such a blonde moment. I'm trying to get this tiny little, it's like a tape runner and I was using it upside down, peeps. So silly. Uh, I got this while we were in Melbourne at, is it Dayzo? Dayzio? Day, I think it's Day Dayzo. Uh, we don't have any of those stores anywhere near where I live and when we found one uh, when we were on holiday even though we flew down and I had to be careful with things that I brought home I did buy quite a few little stationary bits and pieces including that and I had since forgotten about it because it fell down in my washi drawer and I only recently uh, discovered again and I thought it'd be a good one for this page because this is a picture of Arch and his little best friend Monty and they were at the playground, obviously, uh, and their arch was in blue with a yellow shirt and Moni was in pink and there was lots of yellow in the background and the spots on that tape were uh, pink, yellow and blue. So it worked out well. I had a bunch of scraps left over on my desk from a recent page that I had filmed and I knew that all of the scraps went together. Uh, so instead of putting them back in my scrap paper drawers because I would have separated the pink and the yellow and the white I decided to keep them in a little bundle on my desk and I've been staring at them for about two or three <laughs> two or three weeks and I decided enough was enough and uh, a traveler's notebook spread would be the perfect place for them I wasn't sure how I was going to use them but I knew I just wanted to to keep them together and if you're if you're like me and you get distracted by all the pretty things sometimes in your craft stash just going through your scrap paper drawer and collecting maybe choosing three colors that you really like or three colors that go well together and choosing a couple of different scrap papers from there it can be the jumping off point uh, for your journal page so if you're lacking a bit of inspiration for a page go through your scraps and see what you can find this was a tiny little strip of uh, jelly plated printed paper <laughs> i always get tongue twisted when i say that uh, it was on deli paper, so it's really nice and thin and perfect to include in a Travels Notebook because it won't add too much bulk. And now that I knew, know how to use this little tape runner thing, you will probably see it jumping around everywhere because it's a little bit addictive how fun it is to just roll it on there. I, 
I know American Crafts came out with a few uh, maybe a couple of years ago now and I really wanted to get my hands on them but uh, I couldn't find them here locally and they're a great idea they're they're really handy if you are traveling as well if you have a little travel uh, journal kit or a scrapbooking kit because they don't take up too much room uh, and they're just fun they're just fun to use so I wanted to use my Tombow dual brush markers and I just did best buds down the bottom you can't see it really well uh, but I do outline it in a moment and I've said in previous videos, I really like to outline my brush lettering inside uh, my Traveller's Notebooks for some reason. I just started that way and it just seems to have stuck. Uh, something else that I'm trying to use up are my older sticker books. So I have both of the Maggie Holmes ones and this one I'm currently flipping through is the first one. And there's not a great deal of stickers left. Uh, there's a few here and there there seems to be a lot of similar ones like you can see there I haven't used any of those bunnies or many of these words um, but there's some pages where they've completely gone which is really I don't know it's a satisfying feeling to finish a sticker page because it doesn't happen all the time there's a lot of the time I have sticker sheets that just have like a few little hanger oners and like five stickers left and I feel like sometimes you kind of just need to cut the cord and say, you brought me joy once, I can't use you in another project, it's time to pass you on to someone who <laughs> will find joy in you. Uh, so this week, uh, would you actually, here we go. Today is day two of the Inky June Marathon. If you're stumbling upon this video uh, without following me on Instagram or without following my main channel, Inky Quill, uh, you won't know what I'm talking about, but Inky June Marathon is where I do a video every single day on YouTube for the month of June. I originally started this a few years ago before uh, the kiddos came along and sucked up every ounce of extra time that I ever had. Uh, but I have decided 2020, I really wanted to try it again. And so there will be videos alternating on Let's Get Inky and then Inky Quill the next day and then back to Let's Get Inky and so forth for the whole month, uh, which is exciting. And I will, of course, still be posting my eight videos a month to Patreon, as well as my monthly digital printable uh, collection and all sorts of bits and pieces on Instagram as usual as well. Uh, so would you guys like a bit of a challenge focus for every day? Uh, my first video, of course went up yesterday because it's the second today and yesterday I had a bit of fun with a mixed media layout uh, using some texture paste and uh, acrylic inks but today we're working in the traveler's notebook and I'm setting you a challenge for today let me know in the comments if you would like a bit of a daily uh, challenge to, to work on you don't have to play along with them in order and you can pick and choose which ones suit your style uh, but I think today would be a good opportunity to go through your scrap papers because there's something that I feel can very quickly multiply without you realizing until the, well, I know for me, I keep my paper scraps in a little set of drawers uh, in four different color category. And I don't really notice how many I have accrued until I can't close the drawers anymore. <laughs> I feel like they just coast along at a, at a normal amount of scraps and then bam, I'm overflowing. So go through your paper scraps and see what you've got and see if you can come up with a little, maybe a little mini collection of papers that coordinate together. Put them to the side, maybe pick two little piles of paper scraps in two different color schemes and see if you can use them in um, one of your upcoming projects. So for today, I was only going to do that first video and then this page was really annoying me. <laughs> so I decided to do this as well. So it's a bit of a bit of a double process. Uh, and this is a photo of us and Archie way before Violet was uh, ever around. And I, st the end, although my traveler's notebooks aren't completely chronological like my project life album is they are roughly so this traveler's notebook insert is the start of 
2019 or the end of 2018, somewhere around there. Uh, and so I have a little envelope of photos that are roughly kept in the same order and I can kind of tell how old Archie is depending on his haircuts and, and things and Aaron's hair as well. Uh, and so I wanted to include these photos because this is the insert that uh, will probably document uh, my pregnancy with Violet. And I thought it was a really important way to, to start the insert that we were a family of three uh, and what life looked like for us at that moment. So I really like the inside cover of this uh, insert. And so I wanted to make sure that I kept those stripy bits and I didn't really want to do too much embellishing because I felt like with the photos, there's so many photos there uh, and I didn't want to do too, too much with adding things to cover up the stripes. So I went through my Tombow dual brush markers and I picked three colors that coordinated with the photos. So a really, really pale, I would call it like a ice blue, uh, a really warm orange and a sunflower yellow. Also grabbing some washi tapes because I'm trying to use my washi tape stash. It's something that I something that I forget about and when I do remember I only use a couple of washi tapes. You, you will notice there's some favorite washi tapes that do reoccur in my journaling process videos and so I wanted to try and step out and use a couple uh, especially because I had an orangey page use a couple that weren't my regular go-to's. So these the map one I have a feeling is an older, could be an older Citrus Twist or Studio Calico. I, I don't think it's available anymore. Uh, the blue one is a Ranger set. It could be by Dina Wakeley or Diane Reevely, one or the other. And the orange is one that I got from a Planner Society uh, subscription kit a couple of years ago. So I did This Is Us because that's what us was then. Uh, we've now, if you are a new subscriber or if you have only just stumbled upon my second channel, uh, I have little Violet now who is seven months this week, peeps. Where has that gone? Where? I don't know. I don't know where that's gone. Uh, I will do some layouts and bits and pieces with her in it because uh, I have been catching up on 2019. I haven't really cracked open 2020 yet. Um, but as you can tell, I have sped this bit up very fast because I'm just writing using my Pilot G2 in the 07 size. And I put that little bear sticker down the bottom because we call Archie, Archie Bear. Uh, and so I've been saving up, even though it has a little pink bow on the top of its head, it still works because he's our little Archie Bear. And this page is done. I just wanted to add a, a bit of journaling about life right then and um, just talk about how much we love Archie. And I really love how these two pages came together. I do talk about the flip through is coming up and I have a little bit of a chat about what I do want to bring back to this insert that I had forgotten I used to do at the start of the previous insert. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that next week, I think. But until then, have a great week. I hope you are safe wherever you are and I will see you tomorrow on Inky Quill for a new video. Bye.